1792, Spanish schooners Sutil and Mexicana explored the North Pacific coast of the Americas. In late June, Captains Galliano and Valdez met local natives near the Punta de Langara, a neck of land north of the river's mouth we call Fraser. Their journal says, an old man of notable dignity came on board. His cap showed him to be a chief. The ship's young mapmaker and artist, Jose Cardero, painted a portrait, Gefe de la Punta de Langara. To the native people, this man was a CM, an esteemed, worthy individual, his high rank and wealth apparent by an intricately woven cedar hat adorned with swan feathers and a great bear robe. Musqueam oral history tells us he was likely Kayapalano Hosimultuk, the grandson of the famous warrior Kayapalano who gathered Musqueam together to defend their lands from the fierce northern raiders, the Kwakwaiakwak. But who really was this man? Gefe de la Punta de Langara is the first visual representative of native people who for centuries occupied the land and waters around what is now Vancouver. His descendants live here today. After 200 years, we can still recognize the location of his village. But as we look deep into his eyes, can we even begin to imagine the very different world in which he lived? Hey!